Hi everybody, it's Stefan again for ATUDS.com with the second part of the character swag review tutorial. And in this part I'm going to show you how to finish the project. And before we export these particles, let's add a camera. Come to layer new camera. Hit OK select the camera and hit R to review the rotation and turn off the motion blur come to 2 second mark set a keyframe about Z rotation and come to 10 second mark and set another keyframe and make it 180 degrees so all the particles rotate 180 degrees and then Turn off all the layers except the particle layers and the camera and render them out with an alpha channel in a quick time format. So I'm going to pause the video, render out these particles and come back to continue the tutorial. Here we are, I pre-rendered the particles so we can drop this down here turn off these layers and it takes forever to render these particles because of the motion blur but it's ok and let's show this to see that they have half channel and now let's add adjustment layer and let's go with shine and put it on top of the character's animation layer and we are going to apply shine and change the transformer to add colorize, let's colorize it with the electric preset and set the array length to 7 and another thing we are going to do is select the character's animation and colorize the particles come to effect color correction tint and change the second color to a white bluish color and let's add a glow stylized glow and increase the radius and in intensity twice and also the layers and basically that's what we get so far now let's select uh, lens flare one layer and duplicate it put it on top of the layers and close this and this and set this to 100 and delete the keyframes for flare brightness and hit U to review the rest of the keyframes, delete the keyframes for opacity set it to 100 and come to 9 seconds and 10 frames maybe set a keyframe for flare brightness and say it to 0 come to 10 seconds mark and say it to 120 and come to 11 seconds mark and say it to 0 again and basically that's the animation with the lens flares the final thing we are going to do in this composition is to add another adjustment layer come to layer new adjustment layer and let's call it color correction and let's add a curves adjustment just a bit of contrast here and let's add a tint effect to desaturate the whole composition a bit say to 35 and let's add um, a bit of noise so noise and grain noise and set it to 5 so it looks more cinematic and then we are going to create the actual logo review composition so let's create another new composition 
and let's call it logo review and hit OK and import the a touch logo in this comp and let's carry it like so to fill up the comp and let's create a black solid layer new solid and we are going to use this layer as a mat for our logo so let's turn off this layer select the ellipse mask tool zoom in and create just a little circle here and come to the beginning of the composition hit MM to review all the mask properties and set the feather to 150 set a keyframe for mask expansion and come to the 2 second mark and increase the expansion like so like so and we are going to use this layer as a alpha mat for the wall so it will review the wall as you can see here so close this and let's duplicate the um, alpha map in this case this is our alpha map and let's create a copy select it and duplicate it and open this composition and rename it fractal strength map and delete the logo and create another solid layer new solid and make it white put it below the black solid hit you to review the keyframes come to one second mark and move these keyframes like so and change the mask expansion to 1000 this time to almost fill up the whole composition screen and come to MM and review all the mask properties come to mask pad and zoom in and increase it a bit so it fills up the whole screen like so ok hit enter to apply the changes basically that's it for this animation and now let's create another composition select the alpha map and fractal strength map and put them in the new composition hit OK and let's call this composition logo review and hit OK let's create a new solid layer layer new solid and call it form turn off these compositions and come to effect trap code form and basically that's the form come to base form and we are going to use a box grid as a base form and increase the size of the particles so they fill the composition and come to composition settings and just copy these values here and paste them and X and Y here so copy and paste and repeat the action again also set the resolution to full to see the particles better 
and particles in this space we don't need particles in this space so say to 1 and increase the particles in x and y to let's say copy these values and paste them to this way we get one particle on each pixel so we get a perfect gray solid and now let's come to layer maps and current alpha let's choose our layer for current alpha and this will be our alpha map and let's open it again and functionality RGB alpha to RGB alpha and map over X and Y this way the particles will represent our logo revealing like so as you can see here and for the fractal strength we are going to use our fractal strength map come to fractal strength layer choose this layer map and map over X and Y and come to particle and change the opacity to 15 and double the number of particles here just type multiplied by 2 and here is the same multiplied by 2 and and drop down the resolution because these particles are going to kill your computer and come to fractal field section and set the displacement to 150 set the flow x to 25 set the flow y to negative 40 and set the flow evolution to 30 because we are going for a smooth slowly flowing particles and it takes forever to render as you can see here but it works believe me come to the fractal settings here and set the F scale to 12 and leave the rest like this and come to the two second mark and wait for our wall to see how it looks and render all these particles as you can see it's a very cool effect and let's animate the logo so come to form layer hit T for opacity come to 2 seconds and 20 frames where the logo is completely revealed set a keyframe for opacity and 1 second forward 3 seconds set a keyframe for opacity to 0 so we fade out our form layer and we will fade in our alpha map layer so come to 2 seconds mark set a keyframe for opacity to 0 for the alpha map and come to 3 second mark and set the opacity to 100 and this way we have a very smooth transition between the form and the alpha map layer now we are going to add a shine to this logo so let's create a new adjustment layer and call it shine and add a shine effect to it shine and let's change the colorize to electric transfer mode change it to screen and let's see we are going to animate the shine turn off the form layer so we can work a bit faster come to the beginning and set a keyframe about source position and move the source position here 
and come to 5 seconds mark and move this position here like so and set a keyframe for Rayland set it to 0 and come to 4 second mark hit you to review the keyframes and set the Rayland to 6 and we have a smooth fade out of the shine and the final thing we are going to do is to add another adjustment layer by the way we are going to copy the core correction layer from this composition edit copy and paste it in the logo review composition and finally we are going to put the characters animation and logo review composition in one final composition where we can render out the whole scene so let's create new composition and make it 30 seconds long and call it final hit enter and characters animation and log review drag this composition here and change the transfer mode to add and now if we render a preview it should look just perfect so I'm going to pause the video to make the preview and then show you what we created the preview is ready so let's see what we created I think that's the end of this tutorial hope you enjoyed and learned new things of course and see you next time